Sky Express. No, I'd never heard of them before either. Founded in 2005 on the island of Crete, they were a small domestic airline flying ATR-42s and 72s. Then came the pandemic and everything changed. In November of 2020, they started ordering A320neos that were originally supposed to go to Thai Air Asia. My guess is they got them on the cheap. Now there are six in the fleet, and what had been a tiny domestic Greek airline now serves nine international destinations in Europe. Greek aviation has been a bit of a mess and is currently dominated by Aegean and their subsidiary Olympic. I'm standing here in pieces and you're having delusions of grandeur. What's it like to fly on Sky Express's brand new A320neos? And can they compete in the low cost space during a pandemic? Let's find out on this flight from Athens to Santorini. Sky Express has a low cost fare structure, so the usual shenanigans apply. The base fare only includes an eight kilogram personal item. Everything extra like seat selection, carry-on bag, check bag comes with a fee. For domestic tickets, there's three tiers of ticket with cringy Orwellian names. Sky Joy, Sky Joy Plus, and Sky Enjoy. Since it wasn't much more, I splurged for the bougie ticket that included a real carry-on, check bag, seat selection, fast track security, and even lounge access. I arrived at the Athens airport three hours before my flight, which is normally far too early to be able to check in within Europe. However, I was actually allowed to, which was great. After my passport and COVID vaccine were examined for a domestic flight, I went on to take advantage of the fast track security, but my barcode didn't work. This is Greece after all. Finally, I was manually buzzed past the automatic gates. On the domestic side of the terminal, Hall B, there are several lounges. My Sky Express ticket let me into the Sky Serve lounge. Alternatively, Priority Pass lets you into both that lounge as well as the Gold Air CIP lounge. I'll cover that one in a future video, but in short, the Sky Serve lounge is indeed the inferior one. There's some modest seating, prepackaged food, and non alcoholic beverages. The terminal itself can be a bit confusing as there are two levels jet bridges on the upper level and buses to remote stands on the lower. There are also some great lounge chairs. We boarded by bus, where our passports and COVID documents were checked yet again and drove towards the stands. Nearly the entire A320neo fleet is based in Athens with only a few routes out of Heraklion. I must say our aircraft was a beauty. And new plane smell is an understatement. It was less than a month old. We boarded via the front stairs and entered the immaculately clean cabin. I was immediately surprised by the seats. I think they're very stylish, which is only fitting as the airline's IATA code is GQ after all, but they were also very well padded. The product is so new that there isn't even an entry on Seat Guru, but the legroom felt not terrible and nowhere near as bad as something like Ryanair or even slimline seats on domestic US carriers. While filming the seat and out the window, my seatmate asked me a very astute question. Are you a YouTuber? Oh, yeah. Only a handful of people have inquired about my channel and we hit off a conversation. There's only one slight issue. He was eight years old. Now, look here, YouTube. I'm sure all the TOS guidelines are being followed and no, this channel is not targeted towards children. Here, I'll show you. Sky Express's motto is fly every day. And here I thought we were supposed to be doing something else. See, that's not targeted towards children, Google. Got it? Good. These domestic flights within Greece are short, often very short. The captain estimated about 25 to 30 minutes of flying time and he said he'd get us there as soon as possible. The cabin crew passed out sanitizing wipes and some candies. Hey, that's a nice touch actually. We took off from Athens and flew over the Aegean. The cabin crew came back for a second round of service of candies. We made it up to 19,000 feet, but only for about a minute before we made our descent. We flew over Sikinos, just west of Eos, 
before making a low pass over the caldera of Santorini. We passed over Oya. before flying over the southern rim. We turned out to sea and landed from the south. Santorini Airport has no jet bridges and has a very diverse list of airlines serving it seasonally. From there I rented a car and went off to explore the wonders Santorini has to offer. So Sky Express, I really enjoyed the flight. Brand new plane, surprisingly comfortable seats, friendly crew, and we arrived on time, can't complain. I'd be happy to fly them not only within Greece, but from the rest of Europe as well. They also fly to 35 destinations within Greece, so if you want to get out of Athens, they can definitely get you there. They even interline with the likes of Air France KLM, Air Serbia, and Qatar, so you don't just need to rely on Star Alliance and Aegean anymore. The only real downside to flying domestically within Greece is that Athens is the main hub, so you can't really fly from island to island directly. Fortunately, there is another way. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click that button and please subscribe for many more flight reviews to come. I'll see you next time for a very special high speed vessel on the high seas.